do. <gasps> Bookcases. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I had a thought to myself, and my obvious thought was that I can go to Woodland Mansions and destroy the bookcases for books. Steal all the books for myself. You know, that way I don't have to worry about cows and, and, and silly things like that. And and, and, and uh, I, I can't remember what else, uh, sugarcane, yeah. Well, all I need to do is risk my life coming here. Already we have a stack of books. See, look at that. I'm gonna throw some stuff in the corner. I don't really need those or those, those, that one. Uh, oh, I like the heads though. That one, I can always make another bed and put that in my hand. And uh, what else? I can always get more coal. Cooked salmon. Oh, I'll eat that then. That one can go. That one can go. I think that's it. The rest are going to be filled up with books. I need to find bookcases. That's a kitty. I don't think there'll be something inside of the kitty. Every time I break into it, there's not. So I don't want to break into kitty's booty again this time. That's right. I've broken into a kitty's booty. Poor thing. Whoa. What was that? Oh, he's down there. Oh, I forgot. I could just look on the map. Uh, none of this seems to be bookcases. There was a downstairs area. Maybe I should go check that first on the map. And then make some more decisions. People are going to be so upset with me for ruining this beautiful place. But, like, come on. Uh, are there any... Is there a farming area? That's a maze, I believe. Okay, so I don't see any... Like, that might be bookcases and that might be bookcases. So let's just go this way and figure that out. Uh, otherwise, it's it's one of these type of things, but yeah. One of, one of the other members did want a whole bunch of chests, and I kind of feel tempted to just break all these for them and give them, like, 64 chests, because it's just going to take so much wood to get. Ooh, I might actually need to go up one for safety reasons. Maybe two. Or even more safety reasons. Ooh, pumpkins! Oh, hi! <laughs> wow. So there's melons and pumpkins here. I mean, I should be planting more pumpkins instead of just taking them from everywhere. But, oh, what's that sound? I don't like it here. It is terrifying. Yeah, it's just, it's just chest areas. Okay, so that those are just chest areas. That's the little prison. All right, so I guess we just have to go up. Can we go even further up, maybe? Just usually there is at least one library, but who knows? Maybe there isn't one for this one. Someone is attacking the weather. Uh, the weather. Someone has uh, summoned the wither a couple of minutes ago, so I wonder if they're... Okay, let's look through the windows. No. Oh my god. What the hell is going on there? Is that like, something in the middle or something like that? No, this this is a, a very bookless... Do people not read here? God damn. I have found the smorgasbord, guys. Here it is. Oh my god. How many books is this going to have? Like, it took me a while to find this, too. Ugh, I'm just going to put that there. And this seems to be the only library. The only other place you could really get books is a stronghold. And uh, I don't know where the stronghold is, so that there, there's that. I hope there is a stronghold uh, close to spawn, though. Uh, but yeah, that's the only other real place that you can get heaps of books with that much effort. The rest you kind of have to farm for yourself. Very sandboxy, but uh, I prefer this. Although I'm the kind of person that would usually play with Terralith and Incendium and, and Towns and Taverns. You know, the kind of uh, plugins and data packs that would give you extra buildings that would have this kind of stuff in it. So it just, A, gives you more things to find. Good for content, adventuring, you know. But no, 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 not every server uses them. Plus, the servers don't seem to know about them. I, and I don't want to I don't want to be a hassle and be like, hey, it'd be really cool if we added these. Because I know, I know, that someone's going to be like, and then I'm going to be like, oh my god. And then they're going to be like, and I'm going to be like, oh, whatever, cringe. And then they're going to tell me to go shove it. I'm going to tell them to go shove it. And then there'll just be an entire thing of two people yelling at each other for no apparent reason. Or I'll just eat pie. I like pie. That's pretty much the other option, is eating pie. 
Well, there we go. Look at how many books I have. And I'll be able to put that many books in the um, in my place. Now, I'm going to get rid of this, 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 and this. Then take off my armor. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not drop my armor. Take off my armor. Jeez. With how much effort I put into getting these? Hell no. Although, I will take... I'd rather have stacks of dark oak than those two things. And actually, is there more? Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. And now I just need to find someone to kill me. Hello? Hi! Now that we're back, I'm gonna see if Ruru wants, um, wants our little ball thingy. Are they still online? Yeah, they're still online. Where are they? Where's Ruru? Oh, yay! They finally put some signs here. Oh, sand donations. Yeah. There's no way. I need sand. Ruru! I come bearing present. Well, present. Uh, present? Present! Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, I've, I've now found three uh, treasure things and two of them by accident. Yeah. The I needed sand. Way Mojang intended. Well, I, made, I needed sand. Also, yeah. I may have a few horse heads. Um, just a few. Just, you know, just a, just a small amount of horse heads. Uh, <laughs> so much pain uh, and suffering. Uh, What's wrong? You almost seem, sound a bit hoarse. Well then. Anything uh, is possible. <laughs> you said you wanted the hoof. And nothing but the hoof. So help me God. Well, well I say that as if I don't. Well, I needed leather so for good. item flames. Yeah, I need le le leather for item flames. Uh, I wouldn't go down there if I was... Uh, real, real, uh, terrible things, um, you know, happen sometimes. And, and, and mel me. melting... Oh, good. So that wasn't your horse I murdered. Oh, yeah. Okay, then I definitely murdered someone's horse. Oh. Well, it was out in the middle of it was out in the middle of nowhere, and then when I killed it, there was a saddle that dropped off it. But I didn't see the saddle on it when I killed it. Oh. The visual glitch. Wow. But there, it was not near anyone's house or property. So you know, they just left their horse there. That's their fault. It's on. It's, it's their fault. Exactly. It's all their it's fault. I just went to a wooden mansion and. Um, just so I could get uh, lots of books. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stacks of books. Damn. Yes. And the Wooden Mansion looks like a gopher has been through it. And just like holes. There's just like a, a line in the wall. So I didn't want to touch the floor. You know, because the floor is lava. The floor is lava, a.k.a. Only in Wooden Mansions. Only in Wooden Mansions. <laughs> the the yeah, the, the evokers made that rule. No, I, I, not me. Totally. Bye! Viva is so just... He takes the initiative, you know? Just takes the initiative. He's doing all the stuff. He's just doing all the stuff. Got iron farm. I might, I might, like, pay him to make me a pumpkin farm and a, uh... And a, uh, what's it called? Sugarcane farm. That's what I should do. I should pay him to do some redstone. He'll like that. He'll like that. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a space and say, come down here, and then I can decorate it after. You know, I'm I'm a decorator. I'm a cake decorator. Can't you tell? Got a big-ass cake. Although, it, that kind of could do with some more decorating. But, uh, yeah, now that we have enough to actually make our, our uh, what are they called again? Uh, frames. Item frames. We are good and golden. Uh, we should probably make these first. So, bookshelves. I'm honestly probably not going to need as many as I think. But I wasn't going to leave bookshelves behind, you know? Because if I do that, then someone else will get them. And they're mine. <laughs> I found them, therefore they're mine. Okay, let's try with 64 and see how many more we need. I'm pretty sure we're going to need some more. But um, I'm going to go place them in and let's see what happens. Oh my god, that looks so much better. Look at all these bookcases. I like this space. It's kind of nice. It's kind of full. It's very cakey. Uh, all the splodges on the ground. Ah, so tasty. Of course, the upper area isn't complete. Still needs some barrels. Still needs shelves. Still needs some more pillars. Still need a lot of things. But this layer right here is complete. And we can start putting some item frames up and placing some items inside. Ah, I'm also going to go deliver some books to uh, Rurakas. I, I still have a decent amount left, so I, I think I'll give them these. And I'll keep these for, like, the other stuff. Because who knows? I might need to put some bookcases down here, too. Plus, I have five normal bookcases. 
So we'll, we'll be fine. Let's go get the two brewer, and um, then I've got to go get some dark oak. Lots of it. Oh, and um, I'm probably going to go with spruce. Just because spruce, you can get, like, you know, really tall trees. So I'll do spruce for the, for the, uh, the barrels, and I'll do dark oak for the pillars, because, you know, they're already dark oak. Off we go. Off we go. <sighs> I think I have enough um, item frames now. I'm not entirely sure. But I just, I, I, I went and cut down a whole bunch of uh, sprucey trees, as you can see over there. Um, and we're trying. <laughs> there you go. We're trying to get all of these uh, a upstairs filled in with all the, what's it called? The chest? No, the, the, the barrels. Because I'm a barrel buddy. And then we're also going to get all the item frames in. Now, I only need item frames at the top because... Oh! Because each of them is going to be, you know, for certain things. So, because we have heaps of space. We have, like, two layers. I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay to give every single space its own thing. You know, like, uh, dirt. Coarse dirt and root dirt all can be in one. And then stones. The more decorative uh, pieces like uh, terracotta and concrete can be in another, uh, you know, that, that kind of stuff. I just I just want to make sure everything has its own thing. In modded stuff, I always need to have like two sets of these for. Uh, why can't I? Is that is that the end? Yeah, it is. Um, in modded stuff, I've always needed to have like two sets for say, I don't know, uh, enchanted books because in modded you always get a ridiculous amount of enchanted books. So. Now it's not that case. <laughs> I only need one for enchanted books. I'm just gonna get some barrels. Here we go, 42. We're still probably gonna need some more. That's fine. I'm really happy with this storage room. As I said, I've done something like this before ages ago. It had heaps of layers. It was a lot bigger and every single item had its own spot. And that's what I wanna do in my like personalized world, which I haven't been really focused on lately. I've been really focused on uh, the content for next year, getting that all planned out, because obviously next year's coming and 2025, I don't want to be like completely blindsided. I'm not too sure if we're going to be doing as much content next year, um, just because, you know, busyness and stuff. And also, I just feel like I overworked myself and I want to be able to focus on doing stuff like 100 Daises and those can take a long time. And yeah, you just kind of have to have an idea of what you want to do when you're doing 100 Daises. Daises is... Uh, yeah, that one. So I've definitely got to keep in my head and mind of what I'm doing right now. But yeah, for my personal world, I want to build a huge one. I want to have a, a, a section for each and every item. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know if I want to do it by alphabetical or color code them, like have all the colors of the items. I think that could be kind of cool, like a rainbow section. Have each floor has a different color. I just, I, I it sounds dumb. It sounds dumb because you're gonna go, oh, so redstone's red, so let's go to the red floor. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a terrible way to do it, but uh, it could be fun. It could be fun. I just don't want that to suddenly make me feel like I have to do it every time. Because I'm going to get used to color-coded storage rooms. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, every single storage room for the next, I don't know, 20 series are going to be color-coded. And people are going to be like, oh, God. You love rainbows, don't you? It's because you're gay. No, no. I just, I, I actually don't like rainbows. I think it's too busy. I think rainbows are just way too busy. I like colors to stand out on their own. I like people to stand out on their own. Okay, so we have all this section done. I feel like we can probably fill uh, fill the lower section first, and then put more. I, I think more special. I think more specialized items at the top. That'd be nice. Okay, so let's start with woods. I feel like woods and then saplings. I know it's a weird thing to put saplings right next to woods, but why not? And now I have to do the wonderful job. Of sorting all my storage. At least I don't have much of it. That's the good side. But I'm gonna go and sort everything in, and then we're gonna move down into the dining room. A nice place to dine, because I have some future plans for this. I have future plans. Uh, it might not be in this series, it might be on its own separate series, but I have some future plans. I'm excited. Hi. Hey, what are you, what are you trying to build? Well, I mean, this particular. Yeah. Well, what is your what are you what is your theme? What are you trying to build here? I don't have one. Well, I based um, mine off honestly? um. I based mine off the idea of rock candy because gemstones. I went with rock candy, so I'm gonna be having giant oh, rock candy. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna have right giant rock candy somewhere around here. Uh, hopefully. Say, this is definitely Gotta summon one of my it. Favorite bases I've seen on the, the server. The cake. I love the cake. 
It's so <laughs> dumb. It's the dumbest thing I've ever made. And I love it. But it's gonna have I like food around it too. I need water. Um, I would say, okay. what? Well, as I said, what? What kind of theme are you going for? Because a lot of people just seem to be doing random stuff, like. Very medieval. That is honestly kind of my vibe. It's just random. Yours looks very steampunky uh. and industrial. I will say that. Very redstoney. Oh, that's right. I've got to hire you to make a uh, pumpkin farm and a sugarcane farm at some point. <laughs> okay, I will say I will be making rocket stuff probably. Oh no, it's it's for uh it's for pumpkin pies. I'm gonna be making a pumpkin house, and uh, underneath is gonna have the sugarcane farm and the pumpkin farm. I mean, I could potentially. Um, Potentially, no guarantees. Try and make a auto crafting pumpkin pie factory for you. No, it, it, either way, I, I don't mind if it's just two farms separately. It's uh, I just I, I need it for for a food and b you know just for the sake of having it underneath my uh my trick or treating basket house whatever it's gonna be the bowl bowl bucket 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 it's gonna be a pumpkin bucket. He's trying to stay close, but there's like one or two that are oh really far God. out. Sorry, I'm. For me, I'm very like I am. I'm very active at spawn. Anyways, even though even when I build out far, I'm not like a hermit. Like I'm never gonna talk to anyone again. Yeah, yeah. Especially when I run shops, like I'm gonna be continuously coming back to. You know, I still think this should like, be where the shops are. Call it Shop Valley, talking I mean, talking Shop I Valley. Think, I mean, I think it would be good, like mm. because I got, I'm not gonna build here anymore. We probably don't need island Wait, the whole island for the the like big island that i sent a picture of oh yeah yeah the the island yeah that, that... Don't need that i just think it'd be cool if you call it talking shop valley because you know talking shop is a, a phrase of like um talking business but yeah, yeah I feel like if it, you... like, it could like circle around the the this because it's kind of like a big valley here. yeah yeah we could start here and then the more people put shops the more we go around. around yeah, yeah just just put a path through it Needs like a, uh, needs a little terraforming, like. Yeah, we we, we definitely have to uh, choose a path style. I I I still stand by like mud pack brick and mud pack. Um, yeah. Um, I will say I did do like packed mud. Um, the first world, I did just packed mud. Yeah. I, um, uh, I also did like that one for like my town, or like I did that for like the the main pathways like around the island because it was like a big island. Um. And then from my base, I did, like, cobble, and to say, tough, mossy cobble, and, like, stone. Like, a mixture of that. Yeah. I would say just because most of us are doing lighter colored things, and uh, I think yeah. packed mud and um, packed mud bricks would probably go better with it, I maybe. I do really like that path design that I found uh, and did last time, the, like, um, rooted dirt and coarse dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say mix one more element into it, though. That's the only advice I'd give, is try to find something that's close to it. Cause it's yeah, the like a a, a gr uh gra what's it called a concrete concrete powder brown concrete powder maybe. Oh my god, the storage room is done. Look at it up there. Look at how pretty it is. All the storage is up there. I kind of like how you can look up to it too. It looks like a, like a giant donut in here. I didn't even notice. It's so special. It looks like a giant donut or a, a cookie that someone ate the center of because they're weird. But you know what? I'm happy. No, seriously, like, I'm really happy with this. It's uh, it's pretty, it's good, it's candy-ish. And now we're starting down here. So obviously we've got this long table, which I've tried to centerize it. We're going to put some trapdoor chairs all around here. Uh, what else? I'm, I'm going to do some, like, pots or cauldrons or something with, like, plants coming out of it. Maybe some bookshelves. So it's just going to be a very big area here that's uh, more about, you know, just sitting and talking with people. It's like a grand hall in a way. It's like a nice grand hall. I'm also going to put some like uh, workbenches and stuff down here as well because I realized that. What the hell? What the, the. Oh god. Goddamn wandering trader. But I realized that, you know, having to go up there every time to get do do uh, stuff might get annoying. But yeah, this is this is the next part. I'm actually really excited to get this. We'll start this out and see how it goes. It is going to be. um. For the future, future events, which is super exciting. Oh, but it is for future events um, that we're going to be doing, so who knows. Oh, that's right. We have a sick command. I don't have to do this anymore. So I guess I could do that and then put this up here, I think. I was trying to make chairs because we don't have, like, a chair. We're not doing it. This is vanilla. So what if I sit here? How's it going to look? <laughs> it looks so silly. 
Maybe if I do a slab. I think if I do a slab, it's gonna look okay. So we'll do a, we'll do slabs, and then just shift to get up. Uh, so we'll go we'll go over here. We'll try it slab. Uh, here we go. Slab. Okay, let's see how it looks now. Much better! Okay, that looks really good, actually. We're all sitting here, hello, 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 having conversations. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. And if this works out, if this if this mini game actually works, it might be uh, turning into a full-blown series. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I don't, you know? It, it may, it may. We, we, it's it's, it's kind of like Town of Salem and Among Us. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it next time when we actually, uh, or when we start to get more into it. But uh, it's, it's, it's for the future. I'm super excited. Anyway, I'm going to start doing these chairs as I've got to, you know, work them out, see where they've got to go. Because I think we we could put eight. Am I going to need more than eight, though? What if more than eight people want to actually play? We could do, let's let's try to do, um, let's try to do ten. I feel like ten's a good number. All right. Well, I'm going to get to it. Ben, baby, Ben. Disco Inferno. If you can't tell, it's a smiley face. See, that's the smile, and those are the eyes. It's in celebration of this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I do really enjoy this. See, we got the we got the meeting room all done. I wanted something very clean for the meeting room, very crisp. I did a lot of uh, glowstone, <laughs> glowstone pot plenty type things because I wanted light in here, and it's the best I could do. But I, I, it's a very big open room, and I don't know what's going to happen here and how we're going to use it, so I decide this is probably the best way to do it. And, and I like having shelves and things. It's supposed to be more of a functional kind of like a, a storage area. You know, what's, what's it called? It's like the, 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 the union, the meeting room for the union of, of storage packers. You, you know, box shovers, uh, package gropers. You know, them. But now we have the first floor done. First floor, second floor. I'm gonna put some cakes on here. Don't worry. I'm gonna when I bake cakes, I'm gonna put them on here. But we've got the first floor. We've got the, uh, the technically, I guess this is second and third floor, but it doesn't. It's really just second floor. This is like the second floor, and then now we have to. Oh, that that you're not supposed to be there. And now we have to work on the third floor. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, lot lot to do in this bedroom. There's a lot to do in this bedroom. There's a lot. Oh my god. There's just so much. I, okay, I'm got, probably going to start with the bed and then work my way from there. I'm going to need more bookcases. This is going to be ridiculous. I still need more bookcases. Uh, we might not get this finished today, which it doesn't really matter, to be honest. More importantly, the thing is of getting the storage and the um, other thing done. That, though, these these the two things are the more important one because I'm going to use the storage every day and we're going to use the meeting for an event. But outside there is uh, really where it's going to work. So I'm at least going to get my bed in. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to start a new build. We're going to start on one of the new builds. The little, the, the little, the little houses. The little food houses. Oh, it's going to be so nice. So nice. I'm just, it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. I'm going to love it. Love it so much. Anywho, let's put it in the bed. All right. Um, I, in order to do my bed design, so I'm dropping off some iron to the to the to the well people. <laughs> the people. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a word to call them. It's like why? Why were you trying to think of a word? They're just human beings. Uh, we had such a serious conversation today because I've been online like most of the day today, uh, for like hours, <laughs> just hours upon hours. Uh, six hours is fine. Uh, getting stuff done and and having chats. But yeah, we, we were talking about serious conversations and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Important things, you know. And now I'm doing something that uh, I guess could be seen as a monumental occasion because I'm finally, I'm removing my first build here. This tent, it's time for the tent to go, you know? Oh God, guys, you're interrupting this moment. You really are just interrupting this moment. Ruining it. It's ru you're ruining it. It's ruined. <laughs> ruined. No, I, I really enjoyed having this little tent. It was a good first starter thing. And because I'm not a big fan of starter bases, I just I just find them, you know, tedious. Because you're about to buy, build something huge. So what's the point in spending so much time on it? But, like, and also it's because I'm not, like, in one of those huge-ass servers that are terrifyingly, uh, they have all those, you know, YouTubers who expect so much of you. And, oh, my God. Oh, if I was in there, I'd probably have a heart attack. Of happiness, but a heart attack, nonetheless. You know, just a big old heart attack. Hello, zombies. If you could drop those after you die, that would be wonderful, please. I realized I haven't done two barrels. How did I forget these two barrels? I thought I had... What's in them? 
Oh, actually good stuff too. That's where my other omen potion went. You guys are so dumb. You do know I'm removing pieces, right? Bad. Bad zombie. But no, uh, the extra pieces I will get hmm, later. I have to get these first. Because I'm going to put them in the bedroom around the bed. <laughs> Make the bed look, uh, I don't know, fluffy. Floofy! A floofy bed. Everyone everyone thinks a floofy bed is important, right? That's that's the most important part of having a bed is, is it floofy? And I'm going to have to leave that uh, those till later. Because um, we haven't started the anvil one. I don't know what, what, what spicy candy or hot candy to put as for the... Uh, blacksmithing area. I'm gonna have to look something up because I just don't remember because I'm allergic to um, like peppers and um, capsicum, wasabi, that kind of stuff. Well, no, it's wasabi. I think I'm fine with wasabi. I don't actually know. I haven't tried it recently. <laughs> but I, I, they, they, they like burn the inside of my throat and mouth, so I just don't eat them. And not like a normal burn like normal chilies do, like terrible. Um, so yeah, eat that. And the doctors are just like, it's fine, just don't eat them. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it, but okay. But yeah, I have to look up some of those can types of candies, though. Some, some, something tasty that uh, will work. I, I don't know what particularly, but uh, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out, it's fine. All right, remove these, and then we're done. We'll be able to go up to the bedroom. I believe I can walk. I believe I can walk and talk. Someone watching me? I feel like I'm being watched. I feel like someone's watching me with their big eyes. Oh, it's awful. You know, feeling like you're being watched all the time. It's just awful. <sighs> I'd hate that. I'd hate that. And up we go. Up we go. I don't remember where the entrance is. I imagine these will all be entrances at some point, but uh, I probably only use the two that are on the opposite side of the bed. So here and on that other side over there. Probably the entrances. Probably won't put the entrances here and over there. They're really not needed, to be honest. Huh. That looks weird. I don't like that. If I put this on top of there. <laughs> it looks like a throne, but bed. <laughs> it's a throne bed. I've got to put some stair pieces there and there. That will look ridiculous. I, I don't know why I've done this, but you know. it's. I feel like I've made a throne room bed. It's just come up here and to sleep. <laughs> I am the king of, of sleepy time. Cometh here, for I am the king of sleepy time. <laughs> oh my god, today's been so freaking weird. <laughs> well, 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 we have come to the end of the episode. That's right, we've come to the end of the episode. We finished off the storage room. We got this downstairs, like, meeting area done. And all we have left, really, is the bedroom. But I'm going to leave the bedroom to slowly build that one. Because it's a personal space for me. You know, it's my personal space. My safe space. And, you know, that's important. You know, you, you got you to gotta take your time with that area. But I can't wait to use this in future stuff. Especially the future event. You know, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. But uh, next time, we're going to start working out here. We're actually going to start planning and working on a new build. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what I'm going to do first. But honestly, I'm super excited to find out. I hope you are too. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of your friendly neighbor noob community. Of course, I am friendly, candy friendly to be exact. And this has been Gemstone SMP Season 3. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to do And I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye and have a piece of cake.